Hi. Today we're going to do a demonstration on the high temperature capabilities of our Husky Tough Stuff grease. Over here I have a hot pan that is maintaining a temperature between 450 and 500 degrees. I also have three greases we're going to test here. The first is a synthetic grease and that has a synthetic base oil. The second is a traditional lithium complex grease which has a dropping point of 500 degrees. The third is our Husky Tough Stuff grease with a no melt synthetic thickener. And you'll see those properties here when I take the Tough Stuff grease and put it in the hot pan. Next, we'll put in the lithium complex grease, which again has a dropping point of 500 degrees. And dropping point is just a, a fancy way of saying melt point. And the third is our synthetic grease, synthetic base oil. Now, you think synthetic grease, you, you think high temperature, but as you'll see here, not all synthetic greases are the same. Almost instantaneously, this synthetic grease is starting to melt and puddle up in the pan here. And again, our temperature is, is right between 450 and 500 degrees. The lithium complex has followed suit and is doing the same thing. It's melting, it's puddling up in the pan, it's even carbonizing a little bit. Our Husky Tough Stuff, however, is maintaining its original grease consistency. It is not melting, it is not carbonizing, it's doing what it should be, and that's maintaining, again, its original grease composition. If we let this go on, it's just going to continue to get worse and worse here. These two greases, this synthetic grease with a synthetic base oil, and this traditional lithium complex grease with the dropping point of 500 degrees are just going to melt and carbonize and they're not going to do their job. Whereas the Husky Tough Stuff is doing exactly what it should. Now, the question I'd like to ask you is which one of these greases would you want to use in your high temperature application?